All right, here's an important uh, slide I want to tell you. Okay, we have uh, several kinds of work done, and we also have several kinds of power uh, to find out. Uh, normally, for this one, uh, for this case, uh, we are focusing on uh, instantaneous power, yeah, uh, or yeah, instant um, instantaneous power or assume the velocity is constant yeah uh, or instantaneous power at certain time okay now um just like work done work done for different forces like for example external force uh, external force is actually uh external force is pulling force or pushing force gravitational force fg Okay, maybe I should write like uh, Fg is the weight, okay, uh, which is the mg, mg, and normal force, and also the frictional force, uh, frictional force uh, Fk. Okay, all right, all right, okay. So we have different kind of forces, different kind of forces. So for each of them, we have their own work done. Okay, like work done by external force is we're using the external force dot displacement so it's fs cos theta work done by gravitational force work done by gra you see work done by uh, work done by by who if but work done by gravitational force is we use the uh, force of gravity we use the gravitational force dot displacement uh, the symbol also we write wg okay so it become mgs cos theta uh, if work done by normal force, we use the normal force dot with displacement, so it's ns cos theta. Uh, the symbol is wn. And then work done by frictional force, uh, we use the frictional force dot with displacement, so it's work done by friction, okay, it's uh, friction fk s cos theta. So different forces, uh, we use different forces for different work done, okay. So, when you ask about, uh, let's say, instantaneous, to find the instantaneous power for different forces, we also have. We have power by, power by external force. We have, maybe the question will ask you, maybe it doesn't ask about power. Maybe it asks you, what is the, uh, what is the rate of work done? Uh, maybe the question asks, what? There's a past year question asking about, uh, there's a passive question ask, asking about what is the rate of work done uh, rate of work done by external force uh, so same to the work done if power if asked about power by external force you just use the external force dot with velocity and uh, the difference is just between the uh, displacement and velocity the formula for this work done use displacement the formula for power just use velocity you see the difference this is using displacement this all using displacement these are all use velocity uh, that's for power power all use velocity the other structure is the same uh, so what is the rate of work done by external force uh, we use external force uh, dot v or fv cos theta and uh, what is the rate of work done by gravitational force uh, we use the gravitational force dot with velocity, which is mgv cos theta. Uh, we don't write displacement, we write velocity for power. What is the power or rate of work done by normal force? Uh, we use uh, normal force dot with velocity, so normal, uh, normal force velocity cos theta, cosine. It's still cosine theta because it's still a dot product. Remember, dot product always cosine. Cross product, cross product use sine theta, okay? And then what is the rate of work done by frictional force? Uh, then we use frictional force dot with velocity or uh, frictional force dot velocity cos uh, frictional force velocity cos theta. So just like work done has work done by different forces, power also has power by different forces. You just use different forces uh, to find the different power. Okay, so what kind of power then you just refer to what kind of forces you use okay and there's one difference between their free body diagram if you, the question asks to find work done asks to find work done you the formula for work done all has displacement isn't it all has displacement so your free body diagram must draw displacement ah okay 
uh, yes uh, maybe i sh use uh, Ah, I want to highlight this one. You draw displacement because why we need displacement? We need the displacement because we want to compare the each force like force uh, external force with displacement. We compare the force with displacement to get the angle theta. Ah, because we want to get the angle theta here. Understand or not? We want to get all the angle theta here. We need the displacement. We need the displacement direction. Ah, uh, so that we can compare. Uh, force F with displacement to get angle theta. We can compare normal force with displacement to get angle theta. Friction with displacement, angle theta. Uh, gravitational force with displacement to get angle theta. For work done. Uh, for work done. But for power, for power, the formula is velocity, not displacement. Understand? It's velocity. Then, for that case, if you want to find power, the free body diagram, we draw... We, we must draw direction of velocity, not displacement. Ah, I, sorry. We draw velocity. Ah, we draw velocity. Ah, to compare. To compare with all the forces to find their, to find their respective angle theta. Understand or not? Ah, we compare force F with velocity to get angle theta. We compare uh, uh, gravitational force with velocity to get angle theta. We compare normal force with velocity to get angle theta. We compare frictional force with velocity to get angle theta. Ah, so remember, for work done, we draw displacement. For power, or we, uh, the question asks not power, it, it asks rate of work done. Uh, rate of work done is actually power. <laughs> okay, uh, if the question asks about rate of work done, it's not work done, it's not work done, it's power. Okay, uh, if rate of work done, uh, then you need to draw uh, velocity because the formula is velocity. Uh, yeah, it's velocity. If uh, uh, asked about work done, you draw displacement. If asked about uh, power, you draw velocity. There is one slide I, I teach you before. Okay, uh, I teach you before already. If uh, back to the chapter forces, uh, the okay. If back to um, back to our chapter forces, we draw the free body diagram with acceleration because we need the acceleration to get positive force or negative force. Same direction with acceleration, we put positive force. Opposite the acceleration, we put negative force. Uh, that's uh, for if the formula has uh, the Newton's second law, F equal to ma, the resultant force equal to ma. Okay, with acceleration, got acceleration in the formula, we draw acceleration. But if the work done. Work done, our formula has displacement, isn't it? For work done, our formula has displacement. So our free body diagram need to draw displacement at the side to get the angle theta. Ah, to get angle theta for work done. For power, uh, the formula has velocity. Velocity. So we draw free body diagram with velocity. With velocity so that we can compare each forces with velocity to get angle theta. Ah, so that's it. Yeah, that's it for uh uh, what I want to explain about uh, power. Uh, okay, so remember work done has different type depend on what kind of force. Rate of work done or power, uh, they also have different kind, different kind of formula depend on by, depend on by which forces. Yeah, the question asked. Is the question asked by external force? Is the question asked by gravitational force? Uh, then you remember use the correct force, use the correct force accordingly. Okay, that's all for this video. Bye!